Art has not been perceived as a quality investment until pretty much this century. It was in the end of the 1980s, in the beginning of the 90s, when uh, um, the Japanese started buying Impressionist and modern paintings, and they dropped the market out to levels that had not been seen before. Um, the Financial Academia and other people started looking at it as an investment, and they started observing the behavior of the asset to quantify how much the art market as a whole had appreciated since 1875 till today. We can isolate that movement of other artists or that period from one artist and compare it in the appreciation of the value of that asset with any other asset we want. A work of art appreciates yearly by itself. Art has a certain behavior that is different from how other assets behave, such as gold, such as real estate, such as diamonds, especially alternative assets. Art is an alternative alternative, that's the way it's called. The behavior of asset reduces risk in an investment portfolio. Art has several advantages. One of them is, is portability. Number two is very low cost of maintenance. Number three, it grows tax-free until we sell in a real as a capital gain. Number four is very good against currency fluctuations. It can be easily transported and you can sell it in the market. You can sell it in London for British pounds, you can sell it in New York for dollars, or you can sell it in Moscow, you can sell it in Tokyo. The, the value of a work of art is, is not subjective, it's perfectly objective. It is a similar process as the one we use for real estate. We do by comparison analysis. We establish values based on size, years of execution of the artwork. Obviously it has to be from the same artist. Then we're going to take into consideration that if the condition of the painting and the provenance are relatively the same, then therefore if we have five or six paintings that sold within a million dollars, we know that your painting should be priced somewhere around the level. It is precisely that part that is unquantifiable what makes it even more attractive because art is sort of like the ultimate luxury. So therefore that part that is unquantifiable is what makes it so special. Investment funds are essentially efficient and transparent. That's what they bring to the market. Investment funds have the ability to channel works of art into the fund and the ability to place those works back into the market through dealers primarily or to the private individuals with a very low cost of transaction. Efficiency and transparency. Efficiency is measured by the amount of commissions that we pay to the middleman. The second is transparency. Unlike galleries or dealers that do not report their sales, we do. Again, this is a very archaic industry and our funds just come in to fill the gap as a liaison, as a bridge between the traditional art academia and the academics of the finance world, because we realize that art has an investment potential. Uh, we observe the right investment intervals, and we also measure very carefully the investment horizon. 
of the assets on the management. Some assets are ready this year, some assets will be ready the following year. That's what we plan and that's what we build, how we build the portfolio. In our Demundi Global Fund, we believe in our and we also believe that it's a fabulous investment.